Today, we'll be exploring an essential foundation in pharmacology, the roots of drug administration. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to define what is meant by a drug administration route, differentiate between enteral, parenteral, and topical routes, identify advantages and disadvantages of each route, apply this knowledge in clinical decision making, and most importantly, a short quiz at the end. Timestamps are provided in the description so you can revisit specific sections. A route of administration simply refers to the path by which a drug is taken into the body to reach its site of action. Choosing the correct route is critical because it influences 1. The onset of action 2. The intensity of effect 3. Patient compliance and 4. Safety of drug delivery Broadly, we split routes into enteral, parenteral, and topical. The enteral route is through the gastrointestinal tract. The parenteral route involves injections, bypassing the gut. The topical route involves medications applied directly to skin or mucous membranes. Let's unpack each one. The enteral routes. Under the enteral routes are the oral route, the sublingual route, and the rectal route. The oral route is the most common, convenient, and non-invasive route. Examples of drugs given via this route include tablets, capsules, and syrups. Some disadvantages of this route however include, slower onset of action of the drugs. The drugs are also subject to first-pass metabolism in the liver. And they are not ideal for unconscious patients. The sublingual route involves placing the drug under the tongue, while the buccal involves the cheek. They offer rapid absorption of drugs through the mucosa. And the drugs bypass first-pass metabolism. An example of a drug given via this route is nitroglycerine under the tongue for chest pain. The rectal route involves given the drug via the rectum. It is useful when a patient is vomiting or unconscious. Examples include suppositories for fever or seizures. Its disadvantages however is that the drug absorption can be irregular. The parenteral roots. They include the intravenous, the intramuscular, the intrathecal, the subcutaneous, and the intradermal roots. In the intravenous, IV, route, the drug is injected directly into bloodstream via the veins. Drugs administered via this route have the fastest onset of activity with a bioavailability of 100%, meaning that all the drug enters the systemic circulation. Examples of drugs given via this route are emergency drugs like adrenaline. The intramuscular, IM, route involves injecting the drug into the muscle. It is slower than IV but has a longer duration. Vaccines are given via this route. The intrathecal route involves injecting a drug into the spinal canal, or subarachnoid space, allowing it to reach the cerebrospinal fluid. It bypasses the blood-brain barrier. Examples of drugs given via this route include chemotherapy drugs like methotrexate and spinal anesthesia. The subcutaneous, SC, route involves injecting a medication under the skin, into the subcutaneous region. It offers slower absorption of drugs. An example of drugs given via this route include insulin injections. Finally, the intradermal route. It involves administering the drug just below the skin surface, into the dermis. It has the longest absorption time of all parenteral routes. Injections given through this route are mostly used for sensitivity testing. Examples are local anesthesia tests, allergy tests, and the TB test, known as Mantu test. The topical route involves applying medication directly to the skin or mucous membranes, such as the eye, ear, or vagina. This method is designed to contain the pharmacological effect of the drug to the surface or within the layers of the skin or mucous membrane, making it effective for treating localized conditions like skin infections. Topical medications can come in various forms, including creams, ointments, and solutions. Another important route is the inhalation route. Here the drug is inhaled into the lungs, where absorption is very fast due to the large surface area. Examples include asthma inhalers and anesthetic gases. 
Advantages of this route includes rapid onset of action and direct effect on lungs. However, these medications may irritate airways. Now, the factors influencing route choice. The doctor or pharmacist chooses a route based on 1. Desired speed of action. 2. Drug properties. 3. Patient's age, condition, and ability to take medicine. 4. Convenience and safety. Before we wrap up, let's test your knowledge with a quick quiz. Question 1. Which route bypasses the first pass metabolism and gives rapid effect? A. Oral. B. Sublingual. C. Rectal. Question 2. Which injection route is used for vaccines? A. Intravenous. B. Intramuscular. C. Intradermal. Question 3. Which route delivers drugs through the lungs for fast absorption? A. Inhalation. B. Subcutaneous. C. Transdermal. Drop your answers in the comment. In upcoming videos we'll go deeper into each topic with examples, simple analogies, and case studies. Remember to hit that like button, share with your classmates, and subscribe for more student-friendly medical content. Thanks for watching, until next time,